Greetings and thank you once again for another opportunity to come to you and spend some time in the Word of God and prayer. We trust that as we are journeying together in exploring Jesus' teaching on faith, that you are being encouraged and you are being brought to a place where you can have faith in God. And I want you, uh, as we go through these next two weeks, learning about faith as, and what Jesus taught us concerning faith, I want you to think about areas in your life that you can have faith in God for so that you can see God work in those areas of your life. Maybe some of you watching, you may, may, may need to believe God for healing in your body or it could be some other circumstance or situation in your life that you need to see the work of God take place. I want to encourage you, take what you're hearing and begin to apply it towards those things in your life, in those areas of your life, according to the promises of God. Today, I want to bring our attention to this aspect where Jesus made it very clear that our will and desire is involved in the exercising of faith. That means when we want to exercise faith in God, or we want to have faith in God, in His Word, our will and our desire is involved. In Matthew 15, and we can see this in many uh, instances in the teachings of Jesus, and I probably will highlight uh, just one or two. In Matthew, the 15th chapter, the, there's a Canaanite woman who comes to Jesus on behalf of her daughter who is not, who's troubled by demons. And uh, she's very persistent. And, uh, and, 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 and in the end, Jesus makes this statement in Matthew 15, verse 28, in response to her, Jesus says to her, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. Great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. Jesus recognized that this woman desired something. And he also recognized this woman had great faith. So we see something here. We see a connection between desire, determined desire, and great faith. Sometimes in our minds, we tend to separate faith in God and desire. We think, oh, we shouldn't desire anything, but we must have faith in God. But that's not right. What we can learn from this verse and from many other scriptures is, in order to have great faith, you must have determined desire. In fact, that is the very definition of Bible faith. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, that faith is the substance of things desired for or hoped for. That means there is faith, but you've got to have hope or desire for certain things that you're having faith for. And Jesus repeated this in Mark 11, 24. He said this, he said, What things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Here again, we see desire and believing or faith both going together. So the point I want us to understand is this. In order to have faith in God, we must have strong desire. That means, for example, if you want to be healed and you want to have faith in God for healing for your body, first, you must have a desire to be healed. If you want to see a change in your finances, you must have a desire to see God a change in your finances or in your circumstances or in your whatever area of your life. If you want to have faith in God, for that area of your life, you must have a strong desire to see something change, to see God work, to see God heal or deliver or make provision or change and work a miracle. That desire must be in our hearts. So start having a strong desire. Let's pray. Lord, we ask that you would stir up our understanding and stir up our desiring of what you want us to have so that we can have faith in you to receive it. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.